going on today my fellow youtubians i know it's been a while since i posted but thank you so much for subscribing to me and staying loyal fans i love all of you and i really really appreciate it today we're going to be going over how to turn your usb device into a bootable usdb device excuse me first what you're going to want to do is make sure that your usb is plugged directly into your computer if you're using a laptop i highly suggest using the usb ports on the left side of the laptop seeing as those usb ports are the primarily ones installed onto your actual motherboard. So, once you've plugged in your USB, uh, you're now going to download an application called Rufus, which I went ahead and put a link in the description below where to download it. No, this video is not sponsored by Rufus. It's just the one that I've always used, and I can 100% vouch for it that it's virus-free. Now, real quick, I want to make sure that the USB that you're using is over 16 gigabytes. I actually recommend 32 gigabyte USB drives, to be honest, but this is because a lot of the ISO files that are heavily loaded with memory, such as gigs, megabytes, and kilobyte file types, get correctly allocated onto the USB. Again, this is just a warning. I highly suggest that it be over 16 gigabytes. Now, once you have went ahead and clicked on the Rufus link that I put in the description below, or if you want just to look at the link right up here that works too, you're going to arrive at this website right here. Now, once you get to this website, you're going to scroll down a little bit. Under the download section here, and again, this website may change over the years, but it's going to be directly under the download section, and it's going to say Rufus uh, version type. Now, um, I'm just going to go ahead and download it with you. I've uninstalled it. Uh, I'm just going to click on this link right here. It's going to ask me to save the file. Go ahead and click yes or save the file. Once it gets down downloading, you're going to go open the location. I'm not sure where you save all of your files, so it would be something to make sure that you know where it is being saved. In Firefox, you can just go up to this little arrow up here and then click on the actual file itself. If an administrative prompt comes up, go ahead and click yes on that administrative prompt. It's absolutely fine. No worries at all. Now, what you're going to see here is the actual Rufus application. So I'll go ahead and minimize out of this, and I'll open up computer management so that you can see what's going on. No, you don't need computer management open up on yours. I'm just going to show you exactly what happens when you format your device. So going back over to the Rufus application, um, everything is already preset. However, in this case, you're not going to be changing anything around. What you're going to be doing is selecting the file type that you want to make as a bootable device. Now, I'm doing this one primarily on ISO files because that's generally what most operating systems are when you're going to be using it as a bootable USB. However, if you know what you're doing as far as the actual file type that it is, um, you will simply select that. But what you're going to do is under create a bootable disk using section right here, you go ahead and click on this down arrow right here and then select ISO image. Now, once you've selected that, you're going to go to the little disk and hard drive icon that's directly to the right of it and click on that. And you're going to locate to your ISO or your actual ISO file. So I have them saved directly on my desktop so I know exactly where they are and I don't really have to fiddle too much for it. I'm going to be installing Windows 7 Pro in this case. However, I do have Ubuntu and um, Arc Linux on here as well. So, I'll, But I'll just show you real quick. When I select Windows 7 Pro and then simply click the open button, it's going to actually change all the format settings from before to exactly what they need to be. So in this case, it's going to be NTFS for the file system. And it's going to change the cluster size to around 4 kilobytes, which is because my USB device is actually 32 gigabytes. So getting past all that nerdy stuff, once you actually select it, it's going to change all of these for you. So don't change any of the cluster size or anything else like that because you can end up ruining your USB in this case. Or it just won't boot at all. You might not ruin it. Anyway, once you have this all selected, don't worry too much about under this format options here. Uh, when it says quick format, create a bootable disk using and create extended label and icon files, just leave those three checked and you don't have to check the, uh, the box under check device for bad blocks. So, once you have everything set, you're simply going to hit start here. Uh, will be destroyed. That's fine. Uh, again, well, I guess I should warn you that any files that you had on there before are going to be gone. So, make sure that you get any important files on your USB before formatting it off and correctly saved where they need to be. And then I'm simply hit OK. Now, currently my USB is going to go ahead and start formatting. So, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and cut to the portion of the video where it gets done formatting and we'll go from there. Alright, so 
Now, finally, once it has completed, it will say ready at the very bottom of the Rupus application here, and it will also show the time at the very bottom right of how long it took to format the actual USB. And for me, in which case, it was 9 minutes and 54 seconds. Um, this can actually vary on the USB type and the memory, so definitely don't rub it in if yours beat mine. <laughs> but regardless, you can now close out of the application and properly quote unquote remove your USB for usage. So thank you so much for watching this video. If it helped you at all, I would really, really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and like my video. Furthermore, if you want, all the directions will be written out in the description below for my fellow deaf YouTubers, or if you want to check your steps, or if you just don't want to listen to me babble, that's fine too. Anyway, as you can see, at the very right-hand side, it has totally changed the name of it, but it has been correctly formatted to a bootable USB Windows 7 professional device, or USB device, I should say. And, again, thank you so much for watching. Have a great night.